Moritz Shaggy to give him his full name. Switzerland have won the toss. Well, perfect conditions, still up around 30 degrees Celsius here in Doha in Qatar. And the crowd's still coming in. Brazil, of course, the team that everybody wants to see. Be interesting to see if they can retain their FIFA Beach World Cup when they start their defence in Paraguay in around about a month's time. They are the game's dominant force. They've played in every edition of the Beach Soccer World Cup. The only other nation that can boast that is Japan. But tonight it's all about the inaugural World Beach Games and who is going to take the medals on Wednesday. This hurdle to overcome for both these teams first. Will it be Brazil? Will it be Switzerland? So Brazil, it is to get us underway in the final preliminary round match. So Brazil in that familiar yellow and blue, and it's an early chance and an early goal for Rodrigo. And not the start Switzerland would have wanted. They've been carved open easily. And with 34 seconds gone, Brazil take the lead. Rodrigo with his fourth goal of the tournament already. Scored a couple against Morocco, one against the UAE, and now the opening goal against Switzerland. Switzerland, like Brazil, will be in Paraguay next month. That was Bora's shot, which was blocked behind for a goal kick. Here is Bora again. Elliot is the goalkeeper. Hot. Another shot blocked. Brazil getting their blocks in well at the moment. So it really was a thrilling game, Switzerland's opening match. They trailed the UAE 9-8 with very little time left and they somehow managed to turn it around to a 10-9 win in regulation time. Comes off the head of, of uh, Datinha. Sorry, back to the goalkeeper. Mao is the starting goalkeeper for Brazil. Brazil throw. Here's Rodrigo, the captain and goal scorer. Bora. Nice chip over for Hoddle. Might get a second chance here. Oh, another chance for Brazil. It's Ott on the line behind his goalkeeper. Datinha. claiming he should have had a foul for obstruction, but not given. Matinha trying to get away from the experienced Swiss number nine.
Cracker with a throw. One back by Spacker. Well, that might have taken a deflection. I think he just popped up off the sand, which is always the danger. It's what makes life difficult for goalkeepers. So the winners of this match will play Italy in the semi-finals tomorrow. The other semi-final will be between either Iran, who put their place earlier, and Japan and Russia. Elliot. On by Spacker, looking for Stankovic, cut out by Bokinia. Good ball, oh, what a chance for Hoddle. Hodel, his name's, uh, his name's actually Glenn Hodel. Spelt slightly different speed to the English midfielder, Glenn Hodel. He's Glenn Hodel. Good ball across again, and another chance of a second Brazil goal. He was just in behind Lucao slightly. Ball spends a lot of time in the air in beach football. That's something you'll realise, lots of juggling, lots of trickery. Lots of acrobatic overhead kicks as well. There's one of them from Ostjin. Good save, Elliot. Struck it cleanly, Antonio, but not clean enough to beat the goalkeeper. Made some good saves in that match against the UAE the other night. with the tackle. Bora trying to help him back to his feet, which was quickly rebuffed by the Brazilian. Brazil leading by a goal to nil. That early, early goal from Rodrigo inside 34 seconds. Antonio. Felipe. Well played by Austin, just relieving the pressure back to his goalkeeper, Steinman. It's it back across. It's just taken away from Ott. It's an important footing by Bocchinia. Elliot again. Did score against the UAE. Elliot Manoud. Do see goalkeeper scoring a lot of goals in this version of the game. Bocchinia. Lucao with his back to goal. Now he's facing the right way, but ball just runs away to Elliot. Lucao. Bora. Hustled off the ball by Lucao, trying to get a shot through a crowd of players. Bocchini forward to Felipe. Result that may have just taken a, a knock in the face. Here's a free kick to Switzerland. Might need a bit of treatment here. He's got a buck in the face here. He's definitely calling for attention from the sidelines. Call the physio on. Might just have taken a knock in the jaw, I'm not sure. Yeah, just on the side of the face, it seems that he's pointing to. I think a bit of cold water won't sort, I'm sure.
looks as if he's OK to continue. It will be his free kick. The player that's fouled takes the free kicks, of course. So, can no luck put Mao under pressure? Hasn't had any great saves to make as yet the Brazilian goalkeeper. And he hasn't had one to make yet either. That's well wide of the target from Ott. Scatterino. Don't forget there are rolling substitutes, which is why you'll see the whole squad used during the course of the game. It's a bit of an energy sapper running on the soft sand. One of the coaches saying one of the first things you have to do with beach football is actually teach people to run on sand, which is a very good point when you think about it. Well played by Spacker. Spacker up towards Stankovic. For a second, he was going to try the first time over head kick, but Ox 2 played back to Ox. Captain Rodrigo and Stankovic helped it over the line. And it's another goal to add to his CV, Dejan Stankovic. Well, the goalkeeper came, Rodrigo didn't know where he was, and Stankovic with a simple tap in. Any striker will tell you, those are the, the best type of goals, just tapping in from close range. And we're back to one all with 5.21 to go in the, sec in the, uh, the first period, rather. So it is a winner-take-all scenario, don't forget. Only the top team in each group goes through. Hey. UAE and Morocco are battling it out on the other pitch with a wooden spoon. Rodrigo scores again. Oh. Switzerland are claiming that should be disallowed, but it's Rodrigo once again, so they were level for, for less than a minute. And the captain making up for his error at the other end, claiming that he caught the defender with the high boot, but, or the high foot, rather, but... Stankovic, the man that went in, and the ball just crossing the line. Elliot thought he kept it out, but I think he did drag that one back from behind the line. So, two goals in quick succession. And Brazil have the lead back at 2-1. Well played. Oh, Stankovic didn't quite have the pace to take him round Morosinho. Datinha. Back to Elliot. Ball down to get towards Stankovic. Moving the ball around with a little bit of speed at the moment, Brazilis. We know they can do. Technically very good, of course. Plucked out of the air by Elliot. Hoddle. Oh, it's an easy tap-in for Noel Ott from close range. He was made by the acrobatic effort from Glenn Hoddle. And Ott has walked that one in, so we've got a, a flurry of goals here. And Noel Ott gets his sixth goal of this competition. And Switzerland are level for a second time. Straight for the kickoff, good save, Elliot. Had plenty of time to see that one, turned it behind for a corner. Caterino. Rodrigo. Good block by Ostian. Caterino. Up towards Rodrigo again. Good header from Ox. Hoddle again! Oh. How close was that? And what a goal that would have been. Floaty ball, first time acrobatic, just wide. Another free kick goes Switzerland's way.
runners up to Brazil in the World Cup in 2009 in the UAE, Switzerland. Gradually got closer over the last couple of years as well. 10th in 2011, 8th in 2015, and 5th the last time the World Cup was held in the Bahamas two years ago. Here comes Ott. Oh, good save by Mao. Did really well there to get that much power on the ball from such a distance away. Switzerland continuing to press. They've got themselves a corner. It'll be taken by Bora. Ott again, mishit that one. Morosinho. Put out a play by Austin. Brazil, another one. It's a hat trick for Rodrigo. Well, they can score goals out of nothing, and that's where that one came from. That's the brilliance of the Brazilians. Wonderful finish from Rodrigo, made by his own agility. Ott couldn't get tight enough to him. Elliot beaten. Rodrigo hat trick, and Brazil are back in front. So 3.31 to go in this opening period, and we've had five goals already. Another good save by the goalkeeper, Bora, this time. Trying straight from the kickoff to get Switzerland back level for a third time. Stankovic just took a tumble as he went for the ball. Now here's Felipe. Bocchina, wide of the target. There was that free kick a moment or so ago. Or straight from the kickoff, rather. Push wide by Mao. A really good save. Challenge. Stankovic just ran away from him slightly. He's a bit disappointed with himself. He didn't get a positive touch on that one. Bocchina. Stankovic, look at the return to Spaka, only as far as Felipe. Now Bocchina, forced a little bit wide, Elia goes near post, that goes off Steinman. Wust. Antonio, rather. Lukau, stabbed away by Mo. in the final minute of the first period. Stepped out of play again by Mo. See Moritz Shaggy to give him his full title. There's Mo on the back of his shirt. It's a couple of brothers, Valentin and Kasper, also members of the Swiss team at times. Good play again by Lukau, trying to get down to the byline. He's done well. Fired across with pace, Elliot turns it behind for the corner. It was a free header from Felipe, uh, from uh, Lukau. Elliot balls long, looking for Mo, heading back across, looking to find Hodel in the centre, but cut out. Here is Hodel again. Felipe back to the goalkeeper.
final few seconds of the first period. First period as well. Five goals in it. And a chance for Switzerland. Oh, it's just wide. And what a finish to the period that would have been if Bora could have found a way in. Couldn't get the angle. Well, five goals in that opening period. There's that last chance, just wide of the post. Rodrigo scoring a hat-trick for Brazil, putting them ahead three times. Stankovic and Ott had cancelled out his first two efforts, but it's a slender lead for the Brazilians at the, the third of the way through the game. It's Brazil three, Switzerland two. So 45 seconds to go to the start of the second period. Brazil leading narrowly by three goals to two after the first 12 minutes. This is the penultimate match of the day. One of three winner-take-all matches. Russia against Japan will follow as the men's semi-final lineup will be completed. I already know the women's semi-finals will be contested between Great Britain and Brazil and Spain and Russia. Can Brazil go on to do a gold medal double in this inaugural tournament, I wonder? Switzerland within a goal at the moment. Will be Switzerland to get us underway for the second period. Standing over the ball, touches off to Stankovic, straight into that three-man Brazilian blockade. Goes out off Rafinha, who no, doesn't go out in fact, stayed in. The ball finds Elia. Five-time World Cup winners, Brazil. Time they missed out on getting through to the semi finals was 2015. They won the World Cup two years ago, looking to defend their title when they go to Paraguay. Less than a month's time, just over a month's time. Paraguay and Uruguay, the other teams from Comnibal. It's based on the three top ranked teams from Comnibal that got into this competition. Good ball, Ott helps it back across, Stankovic though was too deep to try and mount a challenge on Maher's goal. Be a corner, goes out off Ott. Stantinia with the corner. Rodrigo looking...
looking for his fourth goal of the game. Good header away by Bora. Foul by Datinia. Just a little bit dangerous as Bora headed that one away. Didn't have the best of time in qualifying Switzerland. Finished fourth. Needed penalties to come past Germany in the round of 16. Beat Portugal to knock one of the favourites out of the competition in Salou. Lost out to Russia and then beat 4 6 4 by Italy in the third, fourth place playoff. They were pretty clinical in their last match against Morocco 7 3. Stankovic with a hat trick. And already has his name on the score sheet here, but the hat trick hero at the moment for Brazil is Rodrigo. Three goals in the opening period of the game. High. It's difficult when you're almost on your own goal line to get anything on the ball to trouble a very good goalkeeper, which Mao is. Here's Dantinia. Caterina. Qualifying Rodrigo, the top scorer. He already has six to his name in this competition in three matches. Through to Elliot. Bora. Bouncing one, it's away by Mauricinho. It's difficult when the ball comes off the sand because it's so unpredictable. It's not like a, a true surface, like grass or on a futsal court. Often seen free kicks hit along the ground out foxing goalkeepers. Shot wide there from Tobias Steinman. Saved by the goalkeeper. Now Ott. Running at the Brazilian defence. Spacker loses out. Chance for Brazil. And walked into the net by Felipe. Well, it would have been easy for Bacchini to try and strike it, but he cleverly just slips it to the side. And a simple finish for Felipe to make it 14. And a two goal cushion for the Brazilians. I think as well as he played that one across there, Bocchinia. Felipe's second goal of the tournament, scored against the UAE. Now a goal against Switzerland. <laughs> Stankovic, cleverly rolled to Hodel. Oh, didn't set himself, it's gone out for a throw. Disappointed that he didn't actually get that on target. Straight through the defences, Elliot palms away. Hodel, Spacker. Oh, straight through the mark, goalkeeper. And Spacker makes it 4 3. Well, Mao wouldn't have seen that till late through a crowd of players. Straight underneath him, he feel he should have done better, even though he was a little unsighted. But Spacker gets a goal that brings Switzerland back to within a goal. Winner take all, don't forget. Team that finishes as a win today will top the group and go into the semi-finals. 
Headed away by Mo. Is that Tony Oak? Foul by Mo. Or Stankovic, rather. Just a little bit too exuberant on Bokinia. Well, he can complain, but he was a little little rough in the challenge, so it will be a free kick to Brazil, deep in their own half. Player fouled will take the free kick, of course, so it's Bokinia against Elliott. He's a good shot stopper, Elliott. Brazilians occasionally can produce that little bit of magic. Here comes Bokinia. Driven low, bounced up and pushed away by Elliott. Good save. Bokinia's throw. Three Brazilians in the centre, helped on by Felipe, but just hopped over the bar. Stankovic, behind Mo, just slightly. Antonio. Oh, great strike from Elliot from long range. It wasn't too far away from the angle. Been a fine goal had it just been a little bit lower. Looked like he was dipping, but didn't quite dip late enough. Bokinia. Punch at the halfway point to the second period. Lukau. Bokinia. He's done well. Still going, Bokinia. Oh, caught by Bora. He's going to get a yellow card, Bora. And the first yellow card of the game goes Switzerland's way. So three players in each team were on a yellow card. Bora wasn't one of them. Spaka, Stankovic and Elliot, the goalkeeper for Switzerland. Caterino, Lukau and Mauricinho booked earlier on for Brazil. A yellow card for any of those and they would miss the semi-finals. Still protesting about the award of the free kick, but this is uh, a little bit closer. It's a dangerous one for Bokinia to try and test Elliot. Nobody can stand in the way of the free kick, of course. It has to be a clear sighted goal for the free kick taker. Bokinia in this case. Just making that little little tee for the ball. Elliot Manoud waiting and focusing on the ball. Might need all his shot-stopping attributes here to Dinai Bokinia, who's taking a long run-up for this one. He's going to be hit with pace, you can be sure of that. Angle's a little bit tight from this sort of range. Has Elliot got his angles right? Here comes Bokinia, driven through, and under the goalkeeper. Should really have kept that one out, Elliot. He got a good hand on it, but couldn't keep the ball out. And Brazil have a fifth goal, it's Bokinia. You can see the reaction of the goalkeeper. Bitterly disappointed to have let that one through. And all of a sudden, Switzerland are back with a two goal deficit.
5-3 Brazil lead. Hot. Datinha. Well played, Mauricinho trying to get an angle for the shot. Comes back out to Datinha, blocked in front of goal. Possession a little at the moment, Switzerland struggling to get the ball for any length of time. Rodrigo. Good ball. Caterino. That was a little bit tight, comfortably picked up by Elliot. Bora. Hoddle. Went for the overhead. Too far away, nearly took out our cameraman behind the goal, but it was a good effort. Two year old Glenn Hoddle. sand in the eyes as well, which uh, can often be uncomfortable. It's a common occurrence in this sport, as I'm sure you can imagine. So he will get a bit of treatment. Probably just involves pouring a bottle of water over his head. Still very hot and humid here, still early 30s, despite the fact it's 25 to 10 in the evening. It's been up as high as 38 degrees in the afternoons here. Very first games are played in piercing sunshine. It was a little bit overcast today, this afternoon, a little bit cloudy, which brought the temperature down a touch. Humidity did raise slightly. Sap your energy, though, when you think you're running on sand as well. Which you a two-fall reason to, uh, to feel a little bit leg-weary when you take all that into account. So Hodor's going to come off for a moment. Stankovic is going to come back on. 4.20 to go in the second period. from Caterino. He makes it 6-3. Caterino has his third goal for these Anarch World Beach games. Once again, Switzerland find themselves having to kick off. Rodrigo's just got a bit of uh, sand in the eyes as well at the moment. Try a shot straight from the kickoff. I wonder. We've seen plenty of goals straight from the kickoff in various matches during the course of this competition. Are oh, we going to see another one from Switzerland? Can they put Rafa Padilla's goal under pressure? And on the post is Caterina, the man who scored the goal a moment or so ago. Stankovic tried to call the ball back inside. It was a heavy touch, though. Straight through to the goalkeeper. Dutinian. 
Blasted back by Bora to the goalkeeper. That's it. With great power by Mo. Over the top. And out the stadium. It's in the car park somewhere. Now Brazil very much in control of this one at the moment. 6-3, 2.55 to go in the second period. The victory here would put them through to a semi-final against the Italians. Too much on it from Elliot. Oh, it just gives him a slight look of disgust. Here's Ott. as he went charging forward. Discovered beach soccer due to a friend of his mother's, played in a camp when he was nine years of age. Played as a junior at Grasshoppers in Switzerland on the 11 aside game, but when he wasn't kept on to, to beach soccer, which has turned out to be a good move for him. Tries his luck. And that's it once again behind Rafa Padilla's goal. Padilla jumping a long way. And Torino. Here's a chance, Hodel. Oh, poor touch again. Hooked away by, uh, by uh, Datinia. So approaching the final minutes of the second period, Brazil. A one goal advantage coming into this. Second period, but they've scored three to Switzerland's one. Felipe, Pochinha and Caterino all on the mark. 6-3 to Brazil. Padilla, relatively unchallenged at the moment. Rodrigo, lovely ball to find Datinha. Looking for Rodrigo again, looking for his fourth goal of the game. And almost inside that post, just bouncing the wrong side. Elliot rooted to the spot once again. It's been a very good first two thirds of the game from Brazil. Very much in control, the world champions at the moment. And there goes the Hooter. It's going to take something a little bit special from Switzerland in the remaining 12 minutes to come back into this. Rodrigo's first period hat trick set them on their way. Felipe, Bocchini, and Caterina all adding to the score in the second period. Spacca did get a goal for Switzerland, but after the second period, it's Brazil 6, Switzerland 3. Okay, 
a man whose voice I'm sure you've got used to over the last few days. Yes. Steve, the sports presentation oh. presenter. Hey. Hey. We've yet to see him dance like that, I have to say. But uh, he's a big character and uh, really doing a good job creating a good atmosphere in the stadium here. So we've had games where we've had not too many. We've had a game like tonight when everybody wants to come out and see Brazil. But the atmosphere's been really, really good here over three days. And I'm sure there's more to come over the last two days of competition. Semi-finals tomorrow, the medal match is on Wednesday. But the small matter of the final 12 minutes here between Brazil and Switzerland. Brazil leading 6-3, two-thirds of the way through the game. And another big game to come, Japan against Russia after this one. Don't go anywhere. Still more drama to come, you can be sure of that, at this adult World Beach Games. Board by Mauricinho. Rodrigo. Four. 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 Rodrigo making himself available, just too far out of his reach though, through by Bora, straight through to Rafa Padilla. Good ball, Rodrigo looking for his fourth goal of the game. This is Mauricinho, it's on the beach. Disciplines have been on display or will be on display if they've not started yet. 350 medals up for grabs at this inaugural World Beach Games. Lots of medals have been decided already. There was a gold medal winner here earlier from the wakeboarding as well. Introduced to the crowd. Good challenge by Ott. And away by Bora. Four World Cup wins in a row for Brazil from 2006 to 2009 when it was an annual competition. Good save by Elliot from Mauricinho's overhead. A couple of wins for Russia in 2011 and 2013. Portugal in 2015 before Brazil regained their title in 2017. And this is a really good dress rehearsal for them for the upcoming Beach World Cup in Paraguay next month. Elliot won't show too much of that to Rodrigo. It's in back from Spacker. Spacker again, just slightly put out of his stride by the fact the ball didn't bounce as he would have liked. So unpredictable. Stankovic. Seems a long time ago that he was a rookie of the year, Dejan Stankovic, 2005 in the Euro Beach Soccer League. 34 years of age now. Here he is again. Too much on that from Rafa Padilla. He was always asking questions of Mauricinho. It's away by Rodrigo. It's a heavy touch to create an angle for the shot. But it's Rodrigo. We felt that one. That was one of those painful blows for Rodrigo that we don't like to talk about too much. Hat trick in the first 12 minutes for the Brazilian captain. A bottle of cold water is going to help him too much in that situation. Pretty convincing in World Cup qualifying Brazil. Won all six matches by four goals or more. Put 11 past Bolivia and Ecuador. And all our friends in the house. 
Rodrigo's okay. Might just have to go off for a moment. I think Rafinha is going to come on just to replace him while he gets himself back together. So balls back with Rafa Padilla. Brazil leading by six goals to three. Just over eight minutes to go in the match. It's Rafinha. A couple of jugglers. Oh! What a goal that would have been off the post, off the bar, I think. Just come on to replace Rodrigo. And, well, to pick up where Rodrigo left off, would he, with those three goals earlier? It's going to be a foul and a yellow card for Noel Ott. Just trying to close down Antonio, but closing him down unfairly, according to the referee. So a yellow card and a free kick in a dangerous position, which... Assuming Antonio's OK, he will have to take. after that thriller with the UAE. They trail 3-1 after the first period against Morocco before coming back to win it 7-3 comfortably in the end. So don't be fooled to think Antonio's running off the pitch here. He's taking an extraordinarily long run-up. To this one scored against Morocco. Here comes Antonio and scores against Switzerland. Straight through Elliot once again. Sheer power on the shot, helping it into the net. And Brazil lead by seven goals to three. And they've scored seven or more in all three of their games now. Nine against Morocco, seven against the UAE, and now seven against Switzerland. And we've still got just under eight minutes to go. Change of goalkeeper for Switzerland. Valencia Jagi has come on. Celebrates his. 33rd birthday in a few days. Stankovic with the acrobatic overhead. Wide of the target. Stankovic barged off the ball by Bokinia. Referee gives Switzerland the free kick. Just inside their own half, I think. He just dropped his shoulder, turned his back. Knocks Stankovic out of his stride. Stankovic with the free kick. He and Philip Bora actually accounted for 41% of Switzerland's goals in qualifying. Can he get a goal here to give Switzerland a bit of a lifeline? They trail 7-3. Here comes the experience, Stankovic, driven low. Well saved, Rafa Padilla. Bora. Valentin. Stankovic couldn't get there ahead of Rafinha. Another Swiss player down. Another timeout. Philip Bora, the man we mentioned a moment or so ago, is the man that's down. A free kick given on that occasion. Oh. 
Okay, title back for this match right now is 7 minutes and 17. Third and final here. The score is 7 3. Favorite off for Zell. So Valentin Jaigi, who's just come back on, his brother Mo, that brother's just come on as well. Bora. Valentin. Rafinha. Right across goal. Pulled his shot wide though. Was a threat when they're going forward, Brazil. On my Mo. Ott tussling away. Coming away with the ball as well. Ott, can he get the shot in? Three defenders around him. Turns away from Felipe. Swiss are off the bench claiming they should have had a... It would have been a free kick outside the area, just outside the box when Ott went over. Here's a chance. Balancing out and blocks well at the feet of Bocchinia. Bora. Good ball. Oh, what a strike that is! Wonderful goal from Noel Ott. And you won't see many better strikes than that. It was always going to take something a little bit special to get Switzerland back into it. Stunning goal from Ott into the top corner. And if you're compiling a top 10 goals of the tournament, that one is right up there among the best. So 7-4 may just be the spark that Switzerland need for the final six minutes or so. But they still have a real mountain to climb here against the world champions. 7-4 now, Brazil lead. Can't afford to concede any more goals, Switzerland, you feel, if they're to have a chance in this one. We've seen some good comebacks in this competition so far. I want to see another one, I wonder. Rafa Padilla. Mauricinho. Natinha. Everybody picks him up, blocked away by Mo. Broken pass to come out. Nobody really alert to what was going on with Rodrigo. Mauricinho. Stankovic is back on again, having taken a little bit of a breather. Starting at four o'clock in the afternoon, Doha time. Oh, nice throw. Yeah, Great Britain against Brazil and Spain against Russia in the women's. And here's an easy tapping shot. Oh my goodness. What a miss that is from Bora. And what a chance to make it 7 5. How has he missed? Completely open goal from Philip Bora. And somehow he's put it over the bar. That could be a telling moment in the game if. And managed to get another couple of goals. Hey, it would have taken us to 7 5. Three and a half minutes to go. 
winners of this will take on Italy in the semi-final tomorrow night. Bora. Ott. Ran into Rodrigo, who wins the ball. Good challenge by Ott. Came off the Brazilian, so it's a Switzerland throw. Which was in the centre, Spaka couldn't find a way through though. It's Bora. Tussle going on in the corner. And Marcel. Mauricinho comes away with the ball. He's got Caterino up with him. Went for the acrobatic and puts it way over the top. That surely was a chance for Brazil to finish things off. Philip Boris down. Injured at the moment, may need a, a bit of treatment. Way by Rodrigo. Valentin needs to get something going here for Switzerland. Ott. Placed into the corner. Caterino said it. And it's just a recovering kick. His own header in play. Hodel. By Datinia. Morosinho. Space here for Rodrigo. Caught it well. Side of the post. Inches away from an eighth Brazilian goal. Caterino. Datinha. Surely Brazil will just see out time. They've got 90 seconds to go. Ball's back with Rafa Padilla. A little shimmy from Morosinho to buy space for himself. Torino. Back to Valentin. Hodel, great chance. Good save, Rafa Padilla. Closed him down really quickly. Made sure the angles weren't right for the Swiss striker. That shot deflected off his own player, so it will be a, a goal kick. Brazil edging closer to a semi-final place. Question is, who can stop them? Adding a, a World Beach Games gold medal to their 2017 FIFA World Cup medal. Potentially, of course, a, a retaining of that trophy next month. Who can stop them? Sure, teams will be watching on 10 of the 16 teams that will be in Paraguay have been here. Getting a first hand look at their opponents. Great play, Rodrigo, pushed away by Valentin. So Brazil safely into the semi finals. Switzerland bow out of the competition. It'll be Brazil against Italy for a place in Wednesday's final. Rodrigo scored a hat trick in the first period. Goals from Felipe, Bocchini, Caterino, and Antonio made it seven in favour of the South Americans. Stankovic had got an early goal back, up with a couple, and Spacker on the mark for Switzerland. But it wasn't to be their night. And the world champions are safely through to the semi final. Full time score in the final preliminary group game in this group. It's finished Brazil seven, Switzerland four.